E to the X. We're going to take the derivative of E to the X. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? The derivative of E to the X is E to the X. The derivative of E to the X is itself the easiest derivative of all time. So we're going to do four problems, and it's going to be a quick lesson. won't take long at all. Uh, because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Now, most, most of the problems that we're going to deal with are probably chain rule, maybe a product, maybe a quotient. We'll see. But it won't be that bad. What we have here is chain rule. Okay. So the derivative of the outs... So this is chain rule. The outside stuff is cos. The inside stuff is e to the x. Uh, the derivative of the outside stuff, f prime of x is going to be the outside stuff is cos, so the derivative of that is negative sine. Keep the inside stuff and multiply the whole thing by the derivative of the inside stuff. So just cleaning this up and putting it all together, I end up with negative e to the x sine of e to the x. Easy. You thought I was going to say e to the x. Here's another one that's not so bad. The outside stuff is e. The inside stuff is 2 to the x. The derivative of the outside stuff is going to be... Let me choose a different color. The derivative of the outside stuff, which is e, is going to still stay e. Keep the inside stuff, which is still 2x. Multiply the whole thing by the derivative of the inside stuff, which is going to be times 2. And you end up with 2e to the 2x. Easy. So easy. Too easy. <laughs> 2e to the 2x easy. <laughs> Uh, two more. It appears to me, and I'm no scholar, that I have e to the x times ln of x. It looks like that's a product rule, so I'm going to do that up here just to make sure I have time or space. My e is going to be, or my u is going to be e to the x. My v is going to be ln of x. I keep doing that. I get my limits and my lns mixed up. Silly me. ln of x. My u prime is still going to be e to the x. My v prime is going to be 1 over x. So to the answer to this guy, f prime of x is going to equal u prime v, which is e to the x, times 1 over x, plus v prime u, Oh, did I do it backwards? I did. e to the x times ln of x. u prime v, which is e to the x times ln of x, plus v prime u. Now, in the end, if, it wouldn't have mattered, but I want to be uh, exact. v prime u, so 1 over x times e to the x. And so this just ends up being, after I clean it up, e to the x ln of x plus e to the x over x. What I have now is chain rule within chain rule. So you ready? Follow along. It's going to be complicated, but not hard. Just extra. As the kids say, it's going to be extra. So I have ln of stuff. The derivative of ln of stuff is going to be 1 over stuff, and that stuff is cos e to the x, times the derivative of the inside stuff. Now the inside stuff is cos e to the x. So the derivative of the inside stuff 
is going to be the derivative of cos e to the x. So that's going to give me negative sine. Take the derivative of the outside. Now, again, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on this. Take the derivative of the outside, so negative sine. Keep the inside e to the x and multiply the whole thing by the derivative of the inside, which is e to the x again. We know that because we just did that exact problem. Yep. So I know that's going to end up being negative e to the x sine e to the x. Negative e to the x sine e to the x. So, check this out. This is going to be, this is going to be adorable. f of x equals, I'm going to multiply that whole thing to the top. Negative e to the x sine e to the x over cosine e to the x. Now, why the heck did I put that cosine all the way to the right? Because look, look sine e to the x over cos e to the x becomes tangent e to the x. And then that negative e to the x stays out front. Very, very, very simple and friendly section. Uh, and that's the end of that one. Okay? Bye!